good. Well, we're about just ready, so... Um... Okay, Rosie, my dear, are you okay? Okay. Lovely, okay, we're gonna launch a recording. Okay, and in three, two... Here we go. My heart is locked and will be open for you. So what I do is basically I record voiceovers and uh, music uh, on a daily basis. A uh, three-minute song, for instance, can easily take three weeks of work. Uh, we obviously like things to be perfect. Uh, well, in order to achieve that perfection, you need the right environment. professional recording studio like this one is what we call a controlled environment. Um, nothing is really left to chance. We have the best techniques, but uh, you obviously uh, need the best acoustics. Uh, to achieve that, you really need good furnishing. Sound absorption is crucial in a studio. Um, the panels that you see here uh, basically absorb sound. Sound has a tendency to bounce against the walls, the ceiling, floors. Uh, that would create uh, pitch distortion, uh, reverberation, known as what we know as reverb. So if you take those panels away, this room would sound very much like a church. Well, I'm very passionate about music and sound in general. I do tend to take it home with me, obviously for my own pleasure. When I listen to music or watch a film, I do like to have the same professional environment as at the studio. That's why I have wall-to-wall -wall carpet. It absorbs sound, very much like the acoustic panels in the studio. You know, you can have a great stereo system, you can have high-end speakers, you can have gold-plated cables. But you take all of that technology and you put it on a hard floor and it all goes to waste. I do have a high-end system. It's a 5.1 Dolby surround system. I do have a big subwoofer. I like to feel the sound as well as hear it. But obviously I don't want my neighbors to feel it, let alone hear it. Carpet is really good for sound absorption. Um, my stereo system sounds really great and it keeps my neighbors away from my front door. <laughs> <laughs> 